hacer sol. In our upcoming story, if you look very closely, you'll see a gator making itself at home in a local family's pond. But what are you supposed to do if you find an alligator on your property? KPLC's Drew Marine explains. I said, something don't look right. And there was something floating in the water. I said, that looks like a gator head. I said, there ain't no way. But lo and behold, it was an alligator in the pond in their Maryville front yard. While Bubba Fusilet is no stranger to gators. Whoever thought it'd happen here. He says he's eager to get it off of his property for his family's sake. When you have little ones, you know, they don't know any fear, any danger. You know, and they're down here and not aware that there's a gator in here. He could have easily come up out of nowhere and grabbed one. And for the sake of the gator. We don't want to hurt him. We just want him relocated, you know, to where he can be happy too. Wildlife and Fisheries Biologist Supervisor Corey LeGlue Buxton says it's best to call your local field office or Operation Game Thief's number. Alligators under four feet are generally not considered uh, dangerous. Um, you know, uh, if, if they're larger than that or if they're behaving aggressively and they don't move on on their own, uh, then that's definitely, you know, uh, a time that you'd want to contact us. But she says not all alligators pose a threat. You know, if that if the alligator is not, you know, behaving aggressively or, or uh, causing any problems, a lot of times, you know, we just, you know, advise them to leave it alone and, um, you know, wait a couple of days and most of the time they'll move on on their own. Fusilet says this gator is just lucky it found its way into his pond. Ain't too many gators make it around a Cajun's house. I was just nice this time. <laughs> At your service, Drew Marine, KPLC 7 News. He's right about that. And to find